Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this one, we're going to complete our last activity card for season one. Uh, as the season draws to the end, so let's get that done right now. There we go. I need two. It doesn't matter which two, and then we're going to finish our card. And bada beam. We have finished uh, level 100 for season one. I'm not doing any more cards. Let's collect our chest. And then let's see what we get from the chest. Just do this real quick. Okay. Basic. Interesting. I don't know if that's really amazing or not. Um healing and corruption award I don't do healing and then coins so really nothing too impressive uh, from it but uh, uh, we got a few things that we wanted obviously you know titles really good uh, nothing from these last chest this was something that I really wanted to get to. And then, you know, all these things kind of got us some along the way stuff. I believe the trousers we got uh, from one of the, the drops. Then this is obviously season one. Uh, again, nothing too special, but better than what we had that and then our ice gauntlet is from season one that's really it we finished the season um i will say i did not finish the jersey or the jer the journey i should say not jersey uh mostly because uh it required some things that I just don't do. I haven't done open world PvP. Um, corruption breaches would probably just take too long. Uh, and everything else is just things that I haven't done. Did some outposts, rush matches, and crafted some stuff. But again, uh, I don't think that this is a big deal to miss out on so uh, I'll leave it at that I don't think I'm gonna finish out the rest uh, the rest of the journey <coughs> I would need to get uh, three more of these objectives and I don't know if there's any really that I want to uh, work towards and also if you notice, there's only 12 hours left until uh, season one closes. Uh, obviously, as you've also noticed, I'm doing the free tier. Uh, maybe I could have, you know, gotten more things if I did premium, but I'm sure I would have. But that's okay. Uh, I will say that. Uh, the gypsum warp count is a little bit ridiculous at the, this point. Uh, mostly, again, because of uh, Season 1 rewards. And this actually goes into... Um, this, where I could work on getting 600 with all of the weapons. And then getting everything to 6... Uh, 25 
using these gypsum rewards to get umbral shards and then upgrading the equipment with umbral shards um, but the reason I'm not doing that is really because I'm not really thrilled with any of this equipment at the moment um, so maybe these gloves I want to do a little bit more PvP um, because I think that's really fun part of the game and I can somewhat do it solo so I try to do more of that so none of this gear is really super geared towards any PvP so we'll look to basically replace uh, replace everything there so uh, that's where we sit um, as far as uh, season one is concerned I think it's a pretty interesting uh, take on seasons um, I like the storyline it doesn't look like season two is going to continue the same one although that probably would have been fun um, it, it didn't take too long to get through the storyline um, activity cards got a little bit repetitive I think uh, I completed 64 of them uh, and that's mostly really due to the fact that in the beginning I was actually trying to fill out the whole card before finishing it I, I didn't realize that you only needed to do three um, so that's okay but uh, you know we still got to the end I took a little bit of grinding the last few days it's there um, the other thing I mean as you've noticed and I've said this before as I did not do everything for the the journey this is probably something that I could have done to speed up the progress in getting to uh, level 100 I think like that the, the world like record for it was a few hours I think the people got it done extremely fast obviously I didn't but you know I I don't do this full time so um, I play very casually as you probably noticed from my other videos so it took a while but I was able to get to it and plus I, I, I didn't really work on um, the season um, content for all that much of my time I was focusing on other things so I'm glad I got it done and uh, I'm looking forward to starting season 2 basically immediately uh, after season one ends uh, I'm sure we're gonna do some content on that I kind of picked up how this uh, goes uh, how the season went I should say and kind of how to complete these um, cards and where to go to complete them efficiently where you can do two three things at once so uh, that's really good and like I said I'm, I'm looking forward to season two and seeing what that brings hopefully it's an expansion on on what season one is and I think you know we rag on Amazon Gaming Studios a lot for some of the bugs in the game but I think their first attempt at uh, seasons was a pretty good one uh, and I hope that they continue to do this um, in the future. Um, and I should say continue to improve on the seasons in the future. Uh, because they are, we already know they're, they're going to continue to do seasons. So, um, I think that's it for me as far as season one. Um, really thank you all for watching and I look forward to... Uh, making hopefully some great content with all of you in uh, season two. 
So thank you and see you in the next one.